welcome to this video on IMS and the File Manager Service Provider for ZOS Connect. The File Manager Service Provider for ZOS Connect now supports REST API access to IMS data on Z. For more information about the File Manager Service Provider, go to our HCL Products and Platforms channel where you can get an overview of the product and its installation. There are also videos on Z Data Tools APIs that leverage File Manager function from high level languages as well as Java and Swift. The File Manager Service Provider supports two methods of accessing data, generic and specific. The generic method involves using service archives provided by File Manager. This method provides a generic mapping of file data to a prescribed response format, that is one format for all data sources. When using generic mappings, customers do not need to create their own SAR files. Alternatively, customers who require response mapping specific to a data resource can create their own SAR files using the provided File Manager Build Toolkit plugin. APIs created using SAR files built by the Build Toolkit plugin map data responses according to a given File Manager template or copybook, or in the case of IMS, a File Manager view. When using specific mappings, customers must create and manage their own SAR files using the File Manager ZOS Connect Build Toolkit plugin. The service archive for IMS generic data and the File Manager Build Toolkit plugin are provided in the Service Provider Bundle FMN ZCE in the SFMN SAM1 dataset. The contents of the bundle can be extracted using the Unix System Services PAX command. Once extracted, the provided service archives and Build Toolkit plugin can be copied to the environment where you will create your ZOS Connect APIs. The ZOS Connect Enterprise Edition API Toolkit feature is an Eclipse plugin that can be downloaded from IBM. Once installed, you can create ZOS Connect API projects. The API editor allows API creators to choose URL elements as well as verbs associated with API paths. Each API must be associated with a service archive or SAR file. For generic data from IMS, API creators should use the provided fmimsservice.sar archive. The SAR file prescribes request and response schemas and associates the API with a service provider. For generic data from IMS, the request requires parameters that describe the target IMS resource, including the IMS subsystem ID, the database name, and the region type, either BMP or DLI. If a PSB member is not specified, File Manager will attempt to build a dynamic PSB. Otherwise, a member in the File Manager IMS PSB concatenation must be named. If the PSB member has multiple PCBs for the nominated database, then a PCB number or PCB name must be provided. A file manager IMS view name is also required to filter database segments and to map segment fields. Operation parameters allow the API caller to identify the number of segments required and whether to start an IMS session or reuse an existing session identified by a token. Prior to reading data, the request can optionally attempt to position within the database by specifying a hierarchy of segment key values. For generic data from IMS, the response is an array of zero or more segments. The segment name and the layout used to map the segment fields are given, as well as an indicator if the segment is the last in the database. Each segment is an array of fields, giving the name of the field, its file manager data type, its dimension if an array, its value, and a brief error text if the value could not be determined. Once created, APIs can be deployed directly to your ZOS Connect Liberty server using the ZOS Connect Deploy option. Note that SAR files used by APIs must be deployed to the ZOS Connect Liberty server's resources slash ZOS Connect slash services directory. As mentioned, reading IMS data requires a file manager IMS view that filters a given database and maps out segment fields. IMS views can be created using FM IMS option 4 and sub option 2. View creation requires a template as input and output view dataset and member names. Once created, the view can be edited to filter out or hide segments. For example, we could deselect all but the root segment, and within that segment, select only the fields we are interested in. We can now use the view and our deployed ZOS Connect API to read data from IMS using REST. For demonstration purposes, we will use the REST utility Postman from getpostman.com to test our API. All initial API requests must pass a basic authorization header encoding a valid user ID and password. In addition, a content type header with value application JSON is required. Remember that as much or as little of the request payload can be mapped in the ZOS Connect API editor, 
Anything that is not mapped, if needed, must be passed in the request body. Using path and query parameters, it is possible to map all parameters and require no request body at all. In this example, we will pass all the parameters needed to access an IMS database called HDOU-1 in subsystem IF42. We will use a PSB member in the file manager PSB concatenation called PHDOU-1. The PSB member has only one PCB for our database, so we don't need to specify a PCB number or PCB name. The region type is BMP. We will use the view we created to filter and map the database segments. Lastly, we will read one segment and start a session so that we can continue to read through the database. When we send the request, we will see the first segment in our view of the database returned. Because we asked for a session, we will also receive a token that we can use on subsequent API requests. When we pass a token, we are working with an active session, so we no longer need to pass resource or view parameters. By leaving session set to true, we keep the session active and we can continue to read through the database segments. Once we have finished with the session, we can set session to false and indicate that we want no more segments. Now let's look at reading IMS data using the specific method. The specific method involves creating a service archive or SAR file using the file manager provided build toolkit plugin. The plugin works in conjunction with IBM's ZOS Connect Build Toolkit command line utility, Zcon BT. The Zcon BT utility runs in Windows, Linux, or on ZOS and accepts as input a properties file and generates as output a service archive file. The properties file for IMS provides the resource information including the IMS subsystem ID, the database name, PSB member and PCB information if necessary, and the region type. A view name is also required to filter and map the IMS database. The properties file also provides host port and user ID details needed to access the view and build the service archive. The Zcon BT utility uses the properties file to generate a SAR file accordingly. Remember that the SAR file must be deployed to your ZOS Connect Liberty server. Using the ZOS Connect API editor in Eclipse, we can create APIs associated with the service archive or SAR file we just created. When using the specific method to access data, the main difference is the format of the JSON response, which is specific to the database and its segments. The API request is also different because the resource information is no longer required. It is already available in the SAR file, which as stated must be deployed to the ZOS Connect Liberty environment. The API must also be deployed. Using Postman again, we can test our specific method API. As with generic, an initial API request requires a basic authorization header to authenticate the calling user and a content type header with the value application JSON. Since we no longer require resource information, we can simply provide operation parameters. Again, we can start a session and read sequentially through the database. Note that the response now has a JSON format specific to the database we're reading based on the view we provided when we created the SAR file. And a token representing the IMS session is returned for use on subsequent API requests. Reading one segment at a time, we can read sequentially through the IMS database. The service provider also allows an API caller to position within the database by specifying segment key value information in accordance with the hierarchy of the database. Positioning is available using the generic or specific access methods. API callers can also read multiple segments in a single request, up to a maximum of 10,000. When the last segment is read, it is indicated as such. And finally, as with generic, the IMS session can be ended by setting the session to false. This brings us to the end of this demonstration. Thank you for your interest in IMS and the File Manager Service Provider for ZOS Connect. 